Hey guys, today I'm in the Alaska woods and I want to show you how to make one of these, a birch bark journal. Stay tuned. That is really pretty. When you're looking for a good tree to take a piece of birch from, you know, I look to see that there's no knots. It's just a really nice smooth piece that I'm going to take off. And then as you saw, you just gently do a cut down and unwrap. Now different times of the season it's going to be easier or more difficult. Right now it's like early summer so it's not too hard to get it off. By fall it'll be pretty tough to get it off. But you only want to go under the first layer of bark. If I was to strip this deeper it would actually hurt the tree. This doesn't hurt the tree. This is a nice, beautiful piece, perfect for a book. Now, I've got my paper lined up, got it cut out for my book, now I want to make some two punch holes and I use a really sharp little awl to get it started. So I've got two little punch holes there. I'm going to match it up and punch through my birch bark. Goes through pretty easy. Now to hold all this together for the binding, I use this leather string. We found like a whole box of it at the dump. And it's just vintage leather boot string, but it works really good. You can use whatever, whatever kind of leather you've got, buckskin. I'm just going to use this. But I found that the leather piece is so thick, it's, it doesn't go through my little awl spot very well. So I use a nail and I gouge out a bigger hole once I've done it with the uh, awl kind of have to be careful as you're pushing through, but you got a nice much bigger hole there for your leather and it makes the whole operation much quicker. Okay. Got a couple of nice holes there. I'm going to do the same with my cover. Just gouge that a little bit more so that it's going to let that leather go through so much easier. I'll take my piece of leather. See, pulling it through like that. Goes through really easy. So now, just doing that. So now I have the middle leather through. As 
those are fairly even. And th these are really long. It doesn't have to be this long, but I'll show you why I'm keeping it long. <clears throat> now I'm just going to take these together and loop it around to make a knot so they're together. And then I cinch the knot down as tight as I can against the birch bark. Once you've got your knot on the outside of your book, to close your book, what you do is wrap it a few times and then tuck the leather piece under. And that keeps it closed. So it looks like that. So it's your little, your little wilderness book journal in like 10 minutes. And this was green bark, so you've shaped it now and you've closed it with the leather ties and it'll hold its shape like this. So now you've got a little little book, a little journal to take with you on your on your adventures. I think it's kind of cool. Anyway, one more cool thing you can do with birch bark. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Until next time.